Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Yahawasha is Lord. You understand? Shalom, shalom, call Akium, you understand? Right now, coming in the spirit and the power of Yahabashim, you understand what I'm saying? I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. You know, salutation to the four uh, to the Akium around the four corners of the earth, you know, pushing this word in, in sincerity and in truth. You understand what I'm going? Right now, usually, usually growing up, you know, we, we usually hear them that song, you know, go tell it on the mountains. Over the hills and everywhere Yeah man, we usually hear that song But now we come for bird that down You understand what I say? Get in the true, you know, the correct knowledge of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai We able for bird down these things right now You understand? Because Jake's have it in them spirit Or them usually sing that thing about them them, them them don't know what I mean You understand what I say? So I don't want to kick it off with Isaiah Chapter uh, 41 Right? Verse 14, you understand, and it reads, um, Fear not, thou, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, saith Yahweh Bashim Shai, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument, having teeth, thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small, and shall make the hills as chaff. You understand? So that's the good music right now. That's the tune that we're dancing to right now. You understand? That the prophets them out here singing right now. You understand? Because we're going to tell it on the mountains that yo, your boss Shimmy Oshai say, hey, we're going to trash on your skin. You understand? I say, in a very near future. You understand? You understand what I'm going For all them things that we've been doing, you understand? To Yashar Allah. You understand? The Father said, for letting you know. The tune that we have played, that hey, we're going to trash skin. Mountains are going to get trash. And when we're talking about mountains, we're talking about, you know, governments, you understand, the hills, principalities, powers of this system, you know, this kingdom. You understand what I mean? Because this is not the kingdom of uh, uh, the sons of power. You understand what I mean? So this is not our kingdom. You understand? But we go trash skin first. We go, skins go get trash, and then we go take back what is rightfully ours in the first place. You understand what I'm going on? Right? So, um, then we're going to Isaiah chapter 34. Right? And see what it says. You know what I'm this is Isaiah chapter 34. You know, starting at verse 1. Come near ye nations to hear. And the nations, you know, it have 80 nations. You 80 nations starting with Amalek. You understand, you understand what I'm saying? Um, so, so ye nations come to hear and hearken ye people let the earth hear and all that is therein the word and all things that come forth of it for the indignation of Yahweh Shimeosha is upon all nations upon all the heathens you understand what I'm saying plus two thirds right it says it says um, and his fury upon all their armies he had utterly destroyed them, he had delivered them to the slaughter. Their slain also shall be cast out, and their sting shall come up out of their carcasses, and the mountain shall be melted with their blood. You understand? And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved. Talking pertaining to them, them um them, them bombs that are supposed to drop them nuclear bombs plus the the, the, the IFOs. You understand the chariots of Yahbash and Shai, you know, with the beams, the the, the, the um the laser beams, you understand that the beams that they're supposed to fire upon Babylon and destroy them, right? And the heaven shall be rolled together as a scroll, you understand? You know, the, the mushroom cloud from the bombs, right? And and all their hosts shall fall down as the leaf falleth off from the vine, and as fallen fig from the fig tree. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. You know, <laughs> the sword is the, the missiles again. You yeah, understand what I'm saying? Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. So the most I get, you know, even though him tell us to come all nations, you know, in, in, in Babylon right now, you know, it have all the, all the heathens gathered. You understand? Under them one, them, them, um, them unity doctrine. You understand what I'm saying? You know, all of them, 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 them love Babylon. 
You understand? You have Moab in a Babylon, you have Ishmael in a Babylon. You understand what going? So it's not it, it, it's not only I Sasha in a Babylon. You understand? Plus our people. Yeah, so all of them coming together to uh, to keep Jake oppressed. Yeah, let's forget a piece of the pie. And yeah, so for them see Jake's as them, them being seen Jake's as prey. Yeah, as and Jake build the kingdom. I know you know Jake them being you know praying upon Jake continuously, you know, for keep Jake, you know, maintaining them kingdom. You understand what I say? Keep them bugged out. That's them to rise back to them true nationality and them true understanding where your boss you know, she I present to them in the scripture. Right? So continue, right? Um uh, the sword of Yahweh is filled with, with blood. It is made fat with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats and with the fat of kidneys of rams for Yahweh at a sacrifice in Bozrah and a great slaughter in the land of Idume. Idume. The land of Idumia, you understand? Idumia pertaining to, 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 to Esau. That is name, that is biblical name. That's a biblical name, Esau, in case you never know. The land of Idumia, that is where you used to dwell back in history. You understand? So now you just have a change in location, but is you still Isa show you still Esau. Yeah, and the most I still refer to you as Idumia. You understand all God? But this is prophecy reading right here. You understand? Let me, let me get something in Isaiah 63. You know, the Father talk, talk about you again. You understand? This is Isaiah chapter 63, verse 1. Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garment from Bozrah? As I would, with, with this that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness mighty to save. So that is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai coming from Bozra. You understand? You understand? Verse 2. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel and thy garments like him that treaded in, in the wine vat? Verse 3. I have trodden the wine press alone and of the people there was none with me. For I will tread them in mine anger and trample them in my fury. And their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment. Verse 4 For the day of vengeance is in my mine heart, and the year of my redeemed is come. You understand? So there is Yahweh Shai that go tread upon Bozra. You understand? Like a wine vat. The garment that go stain. You know what I say? With all, yo, the amount of head that go bust. You understand what I say? And all the blood and all that. I mean, the garment that go be literally. You know, stain because you wish I didn't even, even touch you know, and think I don't feel the blood now go be on them garments, if, like, physically. You understand? But I just showing you how I'm going to bust it. You understand? It's like a slaughterhouse. You understand? It just got to get take off clean. You understand? <laughs> yeah, but she was shaving. Back in verse 34, verse 30, um, chapter 34, continuing at verse 7. And the unicorn shall come down with them and the bullocks, right? And the bullocks with the bulls, and their land shall be soaked with blood, and their dust made fat with fatness. For it is the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai's vengeance and the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion. You understand? So here we are going now. In Idumia, you understand? All those in Idumia, all you nations, because remember verse 1 telling you that all nations come gather man and listen you understand we're going to tell it on the mountains what going to go on right all you nations that are in league with 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 Isashua, esau in the land babylon the great which is america right now you understand we have the spirit of sodom we'll be able for, we're able to identify him by the spirit of sodom that him have you understand what I mean? I say scriptures tell you that who is having the spirit of Sodom and Gomorrah. You understand? Spiritual Sodom. You understand? You see them, them fools reveal it so you, you know so it's them. Right? They're the great kingdom now. The prophet's job pertaining to Jeremiah chapter 28 verse 8. You know it's a prophesy again um, against great kingdoms of pestilence and of evil. You understand? And things that, that go before them, for them, them is not of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. 
You understand them, them wicked in the earth. Right? God. But he, uh, read him back verse, verse um, 8, right? In um, Isaiah chapter 34. For it is the day of Yahweh's vengeance and the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion. So let me, let me stick up in right there. The controversy. What is this controversy that the prophet is talking about right now? The controversy of Zion. Yeah, and Zion is Jerusalem. It's a people before it is a place. So we have to break this down in a big way. You know, in case you don't understand what going on, because we have to tell you what going to be falling, you know, all the all the Edens. Yeah, and plus, I have to wake up my fellow Akyam. You understand around the four corners. So Zion is a people. Let me show you. So Zion is indeed a people. You know, in the scriptures. Because precept must be upon precept, line upon line. Here is a little and there you're going to find a little, right? Let me, go back. Let me start off with Psalms chapter 83. Right? Psalms chapter 83, verse starting at verse uh, uh, 3, right? They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. And consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come and let us cut them off. Right? Cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. So this, you know, we point into the controversy. That is what yeah, this controversial right now. Controversial matters that our people don't even know about. You understand? My job right now for edify. You understand pertaining to this. Right? Verse 5. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against Z, D, the tabernacles of Edom and Ishmaelites, and the Ishmaelites of Moab and the Hagarines, Jebal or Gebal and Ammon and Amalek, the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre, Assur, also joined with them. They have helped the chi they have helped the children of Lot, Selah, do unto them as unto Midianites, as to Caesarea, as to Caesarea, as to Jabin, at the brook of Kisan, which perished at Endor, they became as dung for the earth. This is, the, you know, the glory and the heathens and all those who, who partake in the controversy of Zion. That, that is what the prophet um, David was talking about here. Basically, asking the Mosai to let them perish like um uh, um. At Endor, that became as dung for the earth. We make them perish as dung, make them glory be dung. You understand what I say? Make their nobles like Oreb and like Zeb. Yea, all their princes as Zeba and as Zalmuna, who said, Let us take to ourselves the house of Yahweh in possession. So this is the controversy, you know? Let us take us to ourselves the houses of Yahweh in possession. You understand? This is what I go on. Them being trying for them being trying for possess. You understand? Jakes. Jacob the sons of Jacob and keep them from being a nation. You understand? Keep them oppressed, keep them divided, keep them in the dark. Keep them in darkness. Let them not know who them is. So that they can continue to rule over them and that the kingdom can perish. This is the controversy. You understand what I go on? They will find out again. We'll go on again in Jeremiah chapter 50. Let me check Jeremiah chapter 50. I further delve into the controversy as and shed some light onto what, what, what really going on. Because when you come in from the scripture, you know, you understand? We have to break it down in the correct and proper manner for people to understand. So the prophets out here, you know, to wake up, you understand, wake up the elect. You understand? I make you know yourself and understand the full details of what really take place. You understand? And for the heathens, they want to listen, for me let you know what will be falling on too. In the future. You understand? Because the Yahubashi now shine left nothing out of the mix, you know. You understand? All the heathens have to know them judgment. You understand? And what go before them. And all old people, two thirds included, have to know what go come. You understand? And what, what, what for them lot is what, what go before them when, because they now listen. You understand? Also, the elect have to get back into them correct state of mind. You understand? I understand what, what, what really are going on. Understand themselves. Come back to them true heritage and true nationality. Boom, right? This is Jeremiah chapter 50, starting at verse, verse, verse 6, right? My people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. They have turned them away on the mountains 
you understand? So the government, you understand, they have turned them away. They have gone from mountain to hill, you understand, from different principalities, different powers, you understand, they have forgotten their sin place. So these governments, these, 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 these powers in the world right now, you understand, being turning them away from the mercy in place. You understand, make them forget, you know, the mercy in place. You understand? Which is what? What is the rest in place? The kingdom. The new kingdom. You understand? Right? But first, you know, them are forgetting and them correct say the laws, the statutes, the commandments of Yabashi now shut. They have to become the people first and then, you know, the physical kingdom will be established under Amashaya. Right? Which is which, which, the, which the world ignorantly call Jesus. Right? Verse 7. Now this is a controversy right here. The nail on the head. All that found them have devoured them. Right? So when the people been going off from, from, from ever since, all these nations were being holding secret counsel, you understand, against them, being finding them, as it's saying verse, all that found them have devoured them, so them found us and feasted upon us. And to this very day them still, you know, being being devouring us. You understand? Hence why it is 2017 our people don't even know them nationality, calling themselves the, the, the same by words that was prescribed by Yahweh said that you know they go because be called by words amongst the nations, amongst the Gentiles, wherever whatsoever them go. You understand? Right? And they're uh, continuing, and their adversaries said, We offend not because they have sinned against Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, the inhabitation of justice, the habitation of justice, even Yahweh, right? The hope of their fathers. So they know. That, that Yahweh is our hope. You understand? And because of sin is why them able to grab us up, snatch us up, fling us up, fling us from boats. You understand? Hence why them able to, to um, keep us in a, in, in a darkness. And hence why them have the power to put us in a slavery. You understand what I say? And, 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 and indoctrinate us after. Because them know so we sin. They know so we had gone, gone off. You understand? This is the whole controversy. You understand? Them, 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 them hold us captive, devour us, keep devouring us and saying, hey, they, they, they offend not. They hold themselves not guilty. You, know? you understand? Right? Jumping down to verse 17. Right? Israel is a scattered sheep. The lions, you understand, have driven him away. Right? First, the king. So these are the lions. These are the, the, the beasts, them. You understand? We're being pruned upon the sheep, which is the house of Israel, right? And the, the, the prophet going to tell you, first, the king of Assyria, so starting with Assyria, you know, you understand, the Assyrians, you know, right? Had devoured him. And last, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, had broken his bones. So Nebuchadnezzar, Mr. Nebuchadnezzar, right? The king of Babylon had broken the bones. You understand what I mean, the, the scriptures even talk about the valley of dry bones. You understand what I say? So them, 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 them cause us to be in that state now. Where it's like we, 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 yeah, we dry bones. Them broken up to the bones. The king of Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar. You understand? Right now, is them, 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 them Edomites, them elites. You understand? Them are the kings right now. A Babylon right now. So the scriptures are deal with them, are them. You understand what I mean? Say? Them are break the bones of Jake on the daily. And the, them daily job is to, to destroy Jake, devour them, and keep them from being a nation, keep them from waking up, keep them in a deep sleep. This is the controversy. You understand? Jumping out to verse 33, right? Um, in, in chapter 50, Jeremiah, right? Thus said Yahweh of hosts. The children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. All that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. You understand what I want? They refused to let us go. You understand? And this is the whole controversy and the whole matter that's what been going on. They now want to let go the son to Yahabashim Yahabashim You understand what I want? Them hold us captive and them now want to let you go. You understand? Spiritually, them don't want to let, let us go either. You understand? Spiritually meaning pertaining to, you know, the words that Yahweh Shai speak. You understand? And us, that the Holy Scriptures speak for their spirit and their life. You understand? Them never want to get the true 
knowledge, understanding, you understand the wisdom of the scripture because they know so once that come upon us, you understand, we're gonna be able to get back, you know, our powers and all that. So we're gonna be able to trash them, you understand? <laughs> As though they're supposed to be trash and they we go put them back in them correct state of mind, them correct place that, that, that was ordained for them from creation to be under Israel. You understand what I'm going on? You know, so with that, I hope, you know, call Akyam, you know, get the edification from this. You understand, around the four corners, you know, the new Akyam coming in to the truth. You understand? With that, I want to say Shalom. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Mill Stone. You understand, salutation to the four Akyam around the four corners of the earth, you know, pushing this word in sincerity and in truth. You know, with that, I want to say Shalom. You know, stay strong, call Akyam. Shalom, Barakatam.